I'll be talking about the most common SSL connection error faced. Certificate not trusted. In order to understand the probable causes of the error, you need to understand what an SSL chain is. There are two types of certificate authorities, root CAs and intermediate CAs. A certificate authority is an entity which issues digital certificates to organizations after validating them. In order for an SSL certificate to be trusted, that certificate must have been issued by a certification authority that is included in the trusted store of the device or browser that is connecting. You can find the trusted store of your browser in its settings. However, not all certificates are trusted by the root CA directly. If the certificate was not issued by a trusted CA, the connecting device will then check to see if the certificate of the issuing CA was issued by a trusted CA and so on until either a trusted CA is found, at which point a trusted and secure connection will be established or no trusted CA can be found, at which point the device will usually display an error. The list of SSL certificates from the root certificate to the end user certificate represents the SSL certificate chain. This is well explained by this image. As you can see, the end user certificate is the one that is issued by the CA to the server. This CA is further trusted by another CA which is again trusted by the root CA. So there are two intermediate certificates in between the end user certificate and the root certificate. In general, there will be one end user certificate followed by zero or more intermediate certificates and then a root CA at the top. Hope this clears what an SSL chain is. Now let's discuss the possible reasons behind the certificate error. The first one is using self-signed certificate. As the name suggests, a self-signed certificate is one that the website owner has generated and signed for themselves. Therefore, the certificate is not associated with any trusted route in the browser's certificate store. We can get away with this warning though by manually importing the certificate in the browser trust store. The next reason for the error could be missing intermediate certificate. As we discussed, there may be some intermediate certificates in the chain. When one or more certificates in the SSL chain are missing, the chain will break and hence the certificate will not be trusted by the root CA. Incorrect order of the certificates in the chain can also cause this error because if their order is incorrect, there is no way that leads to the root CA. Now you know what all are the possible reasons for the error. Let's see how this error looks like and how can we troubleshoot it. I have explained this in my other video as well, SSL certificates troubleshooting. So this is how it looks like in Chrome, at least in my Chrome. This will differ from browser to browser and version to version. Let's see how can we troubleshoot our error. I'll show you the output of online SSL checker as well as the open SSL utility as described in my other video, SSL certificates troubleshooting. This is the output of online SSL checker and it clearly says that the certificate is self-signed, users will receive a warning when accessing the site unless the certificate is manually added as a trusted certificate to their web browser. Next we see what does OpenSSL has to say about it. It also says that it's a self-signed certificate. You can see verify return code 18 self-signed certificate. If there is any problem in the certificate chain, be it missing certificate or wrong order, then online SSL checker would give an output similar to this. 
Notice the broken arrow at the end. It indicates that chain is broken. Next we see what does OpenSSL has to say about it. It says that unable to verify the first certificate. It means that the end user certificate cannot be trusted as chain is broken. Hope this helps you in troubleshooting your SSL connection error. Thank you.